faith advantage. In the real world, you are going to analyze where the maximum stress will be what? Acting. Are we clear? But we are not there yet. Okay, when you guys are doing my next course in 3A, you are there. Because that is what we call what? Failure what? Analysis. We're not going to do failure analysis. You guys are too green and still too young. Okay? Now, now, so now you know this level of information. Let's look at this problem now. Okay. What is the problem with a problem like this? You don't know what is going on on the element. Before that, we give you an element that you did a hey, 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 right? This one, you know nothing, right? You, I give you a forces and I give you a bending moment and I give you a top. Uh, well, this is cheer, right? You don't know. Okay? No. Let's deal with simple stuff first. Okay. So this is now my X. Now this orientation is important. Okay. This is my Y. And this is our what? Our Z. Okay. So first of all, we are going to determine. So if I if if if, we, if I were to draw our element. So this over here, what you see, this is our what? This is our element H, right? Okay. So now we are going to view this in. We are, so what we're going to find out is we are going to look for, at the normal. Stresses. Okay, we're going to look at normal stresses. So now I'm going to view it from here. This is my X and this is my Z. Okay, so I'm going to sketch the shaft. So this is our shaft. Okay, and over here at the top, this is our element what? Element H. We have a force over here acting at what? 600 pounds. And we have another force coming down here at 600 pounds. And we are given the distance from here to here is equal to six inches. And we are also given the distance from here up to element H is what? Eight inches. Okay. So what we are going to do now okay, is we are, so at element H, at this point, we are going to have a rotation about moment in the anti-clockwise direction, so this is our uh, this is our moment at element H. What? Because at this end. You need a counter moment. Okay. If you put on the other end, it's not necessary. Over here, you need a counter moment. Now, my counter moment can be in the wrong direction. Later on, if it's wrong, you just flip it around. I wish you like this. Okay. And why I put over here is because this is where element H is. So from here. We are going to do stress X. Okay, not stress X. What am I talking about? So I mentioned 
about moment in the x direction is equal to i not alpha no no sorry it's equal to what zero are we clear okay so from here the first 600 is going clockwise minus 600 multiplied by a distance by six plus eight the next one is going so now what is happening now we are taking we are taking moment this point okay we are taking moment where and it's point. so that's why the 600 is going in a what in the clockwise direction clockwise direction is in negative okay so from here the next one is equal to 600 multiplied by eight and then plus by moment about h, the whole thing is equal to zero. So moment at h is equal to what? It's equal to 600 times 14 plus by 600 a on your calculator first. Times 14 minus 600 times eight is equal a 600 times 14 plus 600 times 14 minus a 600 times 14 minus 600 times eight is equal to 3,000, positive 3,600 uh, pound inch. Means this direction is correct. Thank you, Kevin. I knew I could, I knew that you weren't sleeping. So we know that this orientation is what? All right, so what does it mean? Listen to me and listen to me well. If this orientation is correct, right? If this is correct, means the structure will bend which way, right? The structure will bend, I'm gonna copy this whole thing over here. Okay, so we know if this is correct, the structure will bend this way. Okay, based on what we have drawn, the structure will bend this way. Are we clear? Or maybe because there's the counter moment, we have to draw it this way. So this is what we call deformation pattern. Some of you might say, why that way? Okay, Because if we have a moment on this side going in this direction, on the other side obeying Newton's third law, action equal to reaction, same in magnitude but different in what? Different in direction. So that's why this is your moment about why also. Now you ask me, Eugene, so what? Yes or no? So what? So from here, the head of the moment vector is known as what? Compression. The tail end of the moment vector is what? Tensile. I don't want you to uh, apply the formula stress x is equal to minus and z over i z z multiply by y. I want you to visualize C. Okay, as engineers, we have to what? See to what? Believe. Where is electricity? That's why we are not electrical engineers. Where's magnetism? There you go. We are the dusting formers. Are we clear? We need to pop, see his hands have pierced nails, then we believe. Are we clear? Don't see, don't believe. That's why we have a lot of speeding tickets. Don't obey no rules at all. Right. So from here, we are going to apply a formula where we are going to calculate stress X is equal to MY over IYY multiply by z okay so for a circle i can't remember now 
I, Y, Y. What is I, Y, Y? Uh, so I, Y, Y is equal to I, Y, Y will be equal to pi over four multiplied by radius to power four. Now this formula I've written, okay? This will be provided, this will be provided. Are we clear? Don't memorize anything, okay? This will be provided. So from here, we have our pi over four. Now radius is equal to what? Sorry, I can't remember what is our radius. Diameter is 1.25, radius 1.25 divided by two. Power four, okay? So 1.25, Divide by two, power four, times by shift pi, divide by four, is equal to one one, I get one one nine point eight four two, four two times 10 to power minus three inches to power four, okay? So from here, stress X, is equal to 3600 divided by IYY 119.842 times by 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by Z, which is equal to 1.25 divided by 2. Okay, So this will be equal to 360, 1.25 divided by 2. You know, 3600 times 1.25 divided by 2 divided by 119.842 power minus 3 is equal to 18.775 times 10 to the power of 3 psi. Okay. So what we have now. What we have just done is we realize that we have a compression that is equal to what? 18.775 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay. I'm going to go. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's all because of observing my dead is the compression. Okay, so this is minus. Thank you for telling me. I know in 2P04, you guys are using vector analysis, yes or not? Yes? Right, Dr. Koshi, take out your vector analysis. No vector, man, you see by transformation. You okay? Any vector? So you were like to go. Okay. Okay. Right. So now the next crucial thing we are going to look at the shear 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 force. Okay. So if we look at the shear force, so over here we are going to put an arrow down, and this arrow that's coming down. This is our VH, okay? So we are going to do some mention about forces. In the Z direction, it's equal to zero. So what we have is we have the first 600 is going up, minus the seven, second 700 is, uh, second 600 is going down. Minus by VH, the whole thing is equal to zero. Therefore, VH is equal to what? Zero. Hallelujah. Right? Okay, so you all don't need to consider the first and the second moment of area. Okay, if this question will come out, we will ensure that will happen. Okay, so you are going to worry about what is this blipping BQ over IT? Okay, it's still too early. Okay, the next course, then you get murdered with BQ over IT. Right. 
Can you run? Yes, sir.